Hey guys, it's Ken. Today I want to talk about Jesse Lee Peterson and his church bond. Um, I'm a, I used to be a member of the church and I just like to uh, bring to light what I've been, what God been revealing to me. And, um, you know, I, I first heard of uh, Jesse on YouTube, like most people, and I found him very entertaining. He's a funny guy and uh, he's very bold in interviews and uh, on his radio station. And uh, because of him, I learned about pro politics before him. I didn't know anything about politics. So, um, yeah, he I, I learned from that and just hearing him talk about God. It was it was interesting. So um, I start going to his church. He, his church is in Los Angeles. And um, I thought it was a breath of fresh air. You know, uh, a lot of churches are either two things. They're very boring. People, it's just like boring just reading the Bible. Or it's energetic, way too energetic. You know, mostly like black people churches, like just uh, people dancing and falling out, having the Holy Ghost and stuff, just doing extra. But his was... His was perfect. It was, wasn't was just him talking this, a, a fellowship. And I just thought it was, it was awesome. Just everybody being cool, but nobody's uh, bored and feel like they're being lectured. But I have to say, um, there's some things that I noticed that got my attention and God sent it to me to uh, get my attention and for me to stop going. And it's that... Um, yeah, a lot of the things that he he's saying is very confusing. You know, he um he says that the word of God is in our heart, which is true. You know, we know we know right from wrong. We know not to kill somebody. We know not to lie. We know not to lust and stuff. But it's some things that the Bible has that we don't know, and that we have to. We have to get into that word to 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 be guided to open our eyes. And uh, you know, Jesse, he's I wouldn't say he's anti Bible, but it would it'd be rare times where he would bring the Bible and he would just say the word is in us. And he just had this thing about um, you know, the only the thing that can get you saved is going and forgiving your parents. Specifically your mother. And I understand that, you know, a lot of people have messed up childhoods. But he's just putting it like, you know, the only thing you can do to get saved is go and forgive your parents. Specifically go and forgive your mama. And uh, also about letting go of anger and not believing in your thoughts. And that all sounds good, but, you know, that's... You know, that's not all to have salvation to be saved. You know, you have to you have to repent of your sins. You got to take responsibility and repent of your sins and trust in Jesus. But he didn't mention that. Like, it's, he would just go on this thing about, you know, just about the women and going and forgiving your mom for giving you a, a, a evil nature. And, um... Hearing from other people and seeing myself, there's a guy named Roy Masters, and he talk about the same thing, and uh, the same thing about don't believe your thoughts, um, go and forgive your mother, let go of anger, and from what I see, I see that Jesse got his influence from Roy Masters, and he started teaching what he's teaching. And, you know, all of it sound good, but that's just for earthly things. Just forgive forgive your people, period. Not just your parents. Forgive people, period. But what about yourself? What about your salvation? And, um, you know, I just feel like, yeah, he, he didn't, he wasn't telling the whole, the whole word because he don't believe in, in the Bible. And, um. You know, I know what got me out. What got me out is uh, I started watching uh, Ray Comfort from Living Waters. 
uh, on YouTube and what he was just saying to people about, uh, you know, using the Ten Commandments and repenting and getting the free gift of eternal life. That really opened my eyes and I was just like, wow, that's interesting. And then um, on a Sunday, no, on a Saturday, uh, a random lady just gave me this book, The Gospel of John. And um, while I was out, I was reading it and it just, it really confirmed a lot of things, man. You know, I could just imagine like just being in the church, be like, yeah, I forgave my parents. I forgave my mama. I'm not angry anymore. I don't believe my thoughts. And then, you know, something happened. I could still, I still could have died. I could have died and, you know, went to hell. I think the most important thing for a pastor to do is to preach about the gospel, the gospel of the of the Bible and about our opportunity for salvation. All the other stuff you can talk about later, you know, and I feel like Jesse, he's a good place to go to, especially for young men like me, like for him to tell them about being responsible and, you know, um, being responsible and letting God guide you and, you know, don't stress out and don't believe your thoughts. That's a good thing. But he just forgot about the, the main thing. And there's a lot of things that he don't know about the Bible that, you know, I'm, I learn every day. I, I, I read the word every day now. I'm just learning. I'm like, he's, he's missing out a lot of stuff. And I'm going to put the link in the bio of a, of a YouTuber that reviews, that reviewed his interview with Ray Comfort. And you, you can just look at it side by side and see which one is false and which one is real. And it just, it's mind blowing, man. And I just want to say to all my, all the people I met at Bond that, you know, I still want to keep in touch with y'all. Y'all cool. But I just want y'all to think and don't be deceived. You know, into thinking that you're all good and you have salvation. Jesse just been given earthly advice and like kind of, kind of views of the Bible, but it, it it's not the whole thing. You know, even he says, you know, let the words go in one ear and out the other. So I really suggest y'all do that, and uh, y'all get in the word and you know get saved, man. For real, that's the most important thing all the other things about being responsible and you know forgiving others which is good but you know that's that comes later but um yeah i just wanted to release that y'all can go in the um in the description and check the other video of the um of the guy just reviewing the interview with with jesse and ray comfort and see what y'all think i'm sorry i forgot his name but shout out to you brother my christian brother and um, hope y'all have a good one.